Welcome back people, we've got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today and we are going to head into Quenching I think, it's been a short minute since I've been here so that's where we are going to head to, Quenching Lake, we'll give it a little bit of a blast and <laughs> yeah hopefully it goes well, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Alright, I've got to buy a license, I wanted to go catch some gar today. I don't need to switch the well I need to change the hooks but other than that that's it <coughs> yeah I know Doc so I was in the middle of editing man I was editing 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 what's up Does my audio sound alright? Can you hear the game okay? When, I, when I'm in the menu, can you hear the game alright? Like that. Oh, did you? How much did they say? You can hear me sweet as. What, what about the game? Can you hear the game audio? Can hear the game audio, perfect, good stuff. Um, 348, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. I knew there wouldn't have been long left on it because you've had it for a short minute, haven't you? So, <coughs> all right, um, so let's get ourselves some go. I can't remember the location. Although I will remember it when I see it. Here I think it was. No, it wasn't here. Or was it? It was here. That is... Mm, that was early morning. Oh gosh, you know what I forgot to do again, didn't you? To bring my headlight... She don't want it from next month either. Um, sorry guys, it's always the way. As soon as I go live, everybody's, yeah. Jeez, come on. <clears throat> right, night time. I can't see the marker, but I know it's... Okay, there. Yeah, I knew it was by a tree. I was thinking near that tree, so it's near that tree there. Oh gosh, come on, give me a break. Well, that that there's for catfish that marker I'm sure of it I'm sure I call cat, cat flatfish yeah flathead flathead catfish there's alligator gar over that way as well call cool, that's some range out there isn't it there's some range <coughs> Mm. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> there we go. Unsnagged. Let's see if we can get ourselves some guard today. I can literally just about reach the distance. How far do I even... So far I get. Oh, wow. Okay. 300 foot. I don't need to... Don't need to cast that far. <clears throat> if I remember rightly, I think they're about 180-ish foot, 170 foot out there, I think. Been a short minute since I've fished this place. It's showing me the cast. There's no way that's 300 odd foot cast. I'm sure they're not that far. Maybe I was fishing over the other side. Uh, I'm going to be. Yeah, I should have zoomed in. If I was zoomed in, I would have been able to see it better. Yeah, that is, that's quite far out there. That's probably another location. <clears throat> Might move location in a moment. <clears throat> dun, 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 I think. I'm pretty sure I, I, I can get closer than that to it. I'm sure I can. Okay, not there. Not here. Here's where we catch bass and it's not down there neither. Maybe I was in the right location. No, now I'm in the right location. This is it. This is where I... This is it. I came here. See, I, I knew I'd recognise it, but not until it was dark. Last time I fished here for the gar, it was night time. That's, that's the marker there, I think. Let me check. I think they're both are for gar. Yeah. That's a flathead catfish. I knew I had the marker near a tree. There it is. So that's about 100 foot then. If I remember rightly, it was about 99 foot. That was a little bit overcast. Try and get it spot on. There you go. Try there. See how far that is. 138 foot, maybe it was 150 then, like I was thinking. 150 foot. <coughs> Can't believe I forgot my headlight again. I'm quite surprised that uh, update hasn't dropped yet. Maybe it could be today. But just a, in a couple of more hours. As soon as the update drops though, you guys know. As long as you're subscribed, you'll get that notification letting you guys know. There we go. That was a bit of a slow take to be honest. Normally I don't manage to get five rods out before a rod goes off. <clears throat> I 
Look at that. That looks nice. I remember these used to go so big. That was back in mud water. Haven't fished there for a short minute either. <laughs> yeah, I don't think many people fish there now unless they're new, unless they're low level, new to the game. Or unless they're doing some sort of update or mission, which that would probably be... Um, Yeah, uh, for the Paddy's Day. <coughs> Zoom in. What's that little thing there at the tip of my rod there? I have no idea what that is. Oh, it kind of looks like a marker. It might be that guy's float. I don't know. Yeah, I think it could be his float. <coughs> 95 pound? Do they even go up to 95 pound? I know they go up to 95 pound from mud water, but... I didn't know they did from here. <coughs> Must say it's a little bit, a little bit slow going at the minute. I know I'm. I, I've got to be more patient. As again, Dragon. Good to see you, man. Thanks for dropping by again. Um. Yeah, I didn't know they got to ninety-five pound. They got to ninety-five pound in here. No, they got to fifty-five pound. Alligator gars can grow up to eight foot in length, which is around three hundred pounds. The average length, however, is forty-five to sixty-five inches, which weighs around fifty-five pounds. Yeah, I don't think they went that big. <coughs> I could actually, rather than leaving five bait rods out, I could mess around a little bit with a lure rod. See if we get any interest. gonna do that it's a good idea <clears throat> got a buzz bait on there I can honestly say I don't think I've ever used buzz bait in this place but we'll give it a couple of casts you never know <clears throat> so most of last week and the week before I kept coughing quite a lot and that was me thinking oh, I just got a little bit of a cough turns out it was actually COVID so that was awesome I don't even know how many times I've caught that now I've actually lost count Yeah, I can't really see the... Might have a go on the hunch runner. Can't really see crank, but crank bait might work, but for the bass, not, not from this location around the other side. It might work there, but... I could put on a nighttime shed. If I've got any jigs on me, probably not. Oh, I do. Okay. 
Let's give that a go. First time. Welcome to the channel, man. I am fishing in Quenchin Lake today. <coughs> Same here, I didn't feel sick, but I had a cough. Got tested po positive for COVID. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people are getting it. It's going round again, quite a lot, isn't it? So it started off with um, mi Mrs. Bubbles' son. He had it, then he passed it on to me, then I passed it on to Mrs. Bubbles, and then it just yeah, it just it goes round everywhere, doesn't it? Especially when you got kids and stuff, you all kind of just all share it between each other, and then you go visit family and then they catch it and it just goes round and round but yeah i had a really bad cough it's not as bad now i cough a little bit here and there but it's it's definitely better uh we're targeting some well i'm going to be doing a little bit of everything in this place i'm just going to be moving around a little bit but <coughs> at the minute I'm targeting alligator gold. We've only had the one at the minute. <clears throat> yeah, it's in the schools. Yeah. Yeah, probably won't be long till my kid gets it. How's it going, Tyler? What's up, Connor? What tips do you have for level 52? I always have the same tips no matter what level you are. Always try and catch the biggest fish Always try and go for the best lake that you're able to fight, like to fish in, the highest lake that you're able to get into. Always go into yeah the highest lake. Always try to catch the biggest fish. If you don't have much cash, use lures rather than baits. Um, always try to use barbless hooks. That always gives you more XP, helps you level up faster. And I'm not sponsored in any kind of way. I don't get paid for saying it. It's just personal opinion. Um... Definitely, if you're able to, buy some premium. Premium is, is a good way to get XP as well as cash quite fast. Now, of course, you don't have to do that. But premium, yeah, it definitely helps you. Oh, we snagged. Yeah, premium definitely helps you progress through the game insanely fast. <coughs> I'm on PC today. I'm on PC, but... Normally, no matter what I'm fishing on, I will always buy premium for whether I'm on the console, on mobile, or whether I'm on... Well, yeah, the PC always get yearly. I get yearly on PC just because all the updates always come to PC first. <coughs> I always need to have a lot of cash. Otherwise, if I don't, I'm not able to then show that new update or purchase new things and stuff, so... I restarted the game and I'm at level 27 in one week. That's good, Tyler. Nice one, man. You're doing you're doing something you're doing something right. That's good. Pre premium is the way to go. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. My my dad played this game up until I think he got like to, it was between level 34 and 33 or 36, 38 or something like that. He was on his way to level 40 and he never once bought any DLC. And I ended up purchasing a DLC for him. He doesn't buy DLCs. He's not... Like, for me, I always buy the new DLC to show new hotspots and fish and missions and stuff. But if you're not in a rush... Like, I'm always in a rush just to put those videos out there for you guys. But if you're not in a rush, then... Buying DLCs is not something you you really got to do. I always buy by the new DLCs as I said just to show new hotspots and where to catch fish and stuff like that just so that way it, it makes people's lives easier this game's so much more fun when you're fishing in a hot spot although I'm fishing in a hot spot here right now I'm not sure what's going on <laughs> probably because I'm reading chat I'm staying a bit longer normally by now I would have definitely changed the time But going for sturgeon at St. Jenkin. You're going for sturgeon is not a bad idea because you'll be getting sturgeon. Um, you can also get catfish there, striped bass, chinook, salmon and stuff. 
Yeah, Sturgeon's probably a good idea to go for at this point, because you're level 52, yeah. I bet it takes a short minute to reel it in, though, with the with the gear that you got, unless you've got a good DLC rod. Arapaima, yeah, Arapaima can, but they, 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 they fight so much. The Sturgeon fight, but I say the Arapaima, they have more fight to them, for sure. Well, this day absolutely sucks, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to bring the rods in. I don't normally wait that long. I only did this time just because I was reading chat. Otherwise, I definitely would have changed. Maybe change time year. I don't tend to wait too long. One, because I'm a little bit impatient, but also you should be always, if you're in a hot spot and you're at the right time, you've got the right bait, the right hook, you should always be catching fish at a fast pace. <clears throat> got a heavy chaser. Oh, nice, yeah. Well, that's all right then. Good old heavy chaser. You can always rely on the heavy chaser. Great rod, that. I used that for, for a long, long time. Just to let you know, I'm back on Monday too. All right, Dots. I like Nile perch as my go-to fish. Yeah, same here. I normally fish for a Nile perch, but we already did a stream in there, so I thought um, oh, the water was dropping. So yeah, I thought I'll, I'll fish one of those lower level lakes, you know. People always say that, you're max level. Why are you always going to lower level lakes? It's not always about catching the biggest fish. And it's nice to drop back into some of these lower level lakes, because for people who struggle in low lakes... Or if they're new to the game and they don't really understand, or then you know what I'm showing, it kind of helps people, and I'm all for that. If I can make people's experience on this game as fun for them as it is for me, then it's worth it. Can't believe I played this game for over seven years now. That <laughs> that is absolutely insane. Seven years, <clears throat> and I'm still in bored of it. I don't get it. I play so many different fishing games, but this is the one. Thirty-five pounds setup that made me jump. Wow! Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Um, <clears throat> put you in my pocket whilst working. <laughs> I respect that hustle. <laughs> Really, I should have went to early morning and catch him early in the morning as well. On a cloudy night. I did catch that one early morning, weren't it? Oh, early night. Okay. Can catch him early morning as well, though. There we go. That's a bit better. When you, if it doesn't work out, you can always change the time. <coughs> Been playing about five years yourself. And have, are you bored of it yet, or do you still love it as much as the first day? I love it more than the first day because I didn't know how to fish. I didn't know how to, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know how to do many things. I, yeah, I used to spend hours real time just waiting to catch a fish. It was crazy the amount of time I used to spend just waiting, waiting. How's it going, Bear? Good to see you dropping in. Um... Got Alan talking to me and haven't got a clue what he said. <laughs> Can we play for... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be playing Fortnite today because um, there could end up being an update for fishing. And whenever there's an update on this game, this game will always come first before anything, before any game I play. Whether it's Fortnite or whether it's a new game out. This, yeah, fishing. That's me. <laughs> yeah, there might not. It might. The update might not be today, but it is. It's. We're on the second. On the Paddy's Day, St. Patrick's Day. When is St. Patrick's Day? Is it the tenth, the eleventh? Let me have a look. Oh, wrong button. Um. Oh, it's the seventeenth. Oh, okay. I was way wrong. I was completely wrong. 
Yeah. Um, they normally give you about 14 days. So that being on the 17th, yeah, it could, it could be today. It could be any time now. Uh, it all depends on what time. I don't know how long I'm going to be... I don't know how long I'm going to be playing this. But yeah, I'll um, drop me a message later. Play for a few hours a day and still enjoying it. See, my dad, he's been playing it just as long as me. He's played it for seven years as well. And sometimes... He'll sit there and play it like six hours plus. Me, myself, I, I play it. I was playing it every single day for more than 12 hours, but I have backed off a little bit because that is a little bit too much. Um, the, yeah, the main time I put in 12 hours plus is normally when those updates come out. Like I can put anything from 16 hours to 24 hours straight just sitting there trying to get those awesome video clips to for people to catch fish faster i can spend serious amount of time <laughs> crazy amount of time but it's good fun though i, li I like it it's good when I, I manage to get that video out before someone else does of you know i've done that quite a few times with different new lakes that drop i managed to catch some really big fish and find some good hot spots and I managed to put them onto the channel before anybody else puts it on YouTube. So I'm kind of the first to put it on YouTube. I love it when I do that. It's hard to do that because I'm putting in crazy hours, but it's definitely worth it. Makes people's game more fun if I'm catching fish and showing people how to do it. Yeah, Fishing Planet's free on every platform. It's free on mobile. It's free on Xbox, PlayStation, PC. Fishing Planet's free across everything. That's the other good thing as well. Like You can buy stuff in this game, obviously. You can buy DLC packs and you can you can buy premium to help you progress through faster and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, to download it is free. You can progress through. You can level up. You can get nice rods. The I've got the best rods on the game and the best rods on the game, I didn't pay for them out of my real pocket. I paid that for them out of the game, out of in-game cash, which you get that cash from catching those fish. So, yeah, you don't actually ever need to spend any money on this game at all, really. Especially if you don't do YouTube like I do, then there's no rush for you to just catch a few fish every now and again. Really slow, though, for the guy. I might, uh... Might mess around. I feel like I want to use the lure rod because I don't like holding the rod in my hand and it nothing happening. So I might move around uh, to where the bass are. Maybe we're catching bass. Oh, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I want to try and see if the buzz bait works in here for the bass. I'm interested to to see that. Let's see if we can catch some bass. Um, so I think it's there we're spawning, is it? No. There. Okay, yeah, this is... I think this is the location. Um, oh, it's been a short minute. It's been a short minute. I think it's up this way. There's so many different paths you can take. <coughs> I uh, don't think it was this path. What's that over there? That marker for? That's not for bass, surely. Oh, chain pickerel. Yeah, I took the wrong turn. <laughs> I remember now, actually. There's like a stump stump tree. That's what i got to look for. Uh, could be over that way. Um, not that way. I I actually generally do not remember. There you go, stump tree. There it is. Your videos are the best. <laughs> Anytime I need help or forget something, you always search yours first. 
Thank you very, very much, man. I hope that, as I said, it's as fun for you as it is for me. That's the whole idea. If I can make people's gameplay more fun and it, you have a good time playing it, and then that's my mission completed for the day. <clears throat> Doesn't hurt to share a bit of knowledge sometimes to make make people's day. Or to put a smile on someone's face. It doesn't cost anything, does it? It's completely free. It doesn't cost anything at all. I'm downloading it, but it says 52 minutes. Yeah, you're prob you're using Wi-Fi, aren't you? That's why. Um, all right, let's change time. Oh, late evening. I would. Pr I'm gonna jump to the next night because it won't cost me any Bitcoin then, until we get a peak morning. There we go. All right, we're going to go for some bass. I'm guessing small minnows or shiners, but we'll have a look, see what it favorites. This is always a good tip as well. There you go, look, small minnows, shiners. I knew it would be that, but anyway. Yeah, that's a kind of a good way to, if you ever forget, or you're targeting a certain fish and you don't know what bait. Now, I guessed small minnows and shiners. I know that. I've played this game for a long time, but... If there's a certain fish you're trying to catch, like the fresh drum, I would say red uh, red worms or night crawlers. Well, I say night crawlers first. Yeah, night crawlers. There you go. You see, obviously I've played for a long time, so I know. But if you don't know, like there you go, spotted bass. Bass most of the time. Bass always go for small minnows and crawfish, shiners, that sort of stuff. How big do the bass go up to in here? How's it going, Doug? Good to see you drop by again, man. Of course, in a couple of streams now. So it's good that you're managing to come into some of the lives. How big did they go up to? Uh, 35 pound. Wow. Uh, 25 pound, sorry. I was seeing... I looked at the 30 and I looked at the 25. I added the 5 onto the 30. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Um... Typically, length is 7 to 20 inches, weighs around 1.3 to 4 pound, but can grow up to 30 inches in overweight of 25 pound largemouth bass. It's a universal predator. His diet, yeah, small fish, crayfish, yeah, shrimps, frogs, snakes. It's, yeah, they, they, they do like a lot of preferred lures though. Look, casting spoon. It doesn't there say buzz bait, but I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna try buzz bait anyway. I wanna, I wanna see. All right. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let's try some four ops. Uh, and then four. Then I'm gonna put on some free. Okay, and then some small minnows and shiners. I think the shiners would probably be best for the, the bigger ones, but anyway, we're going to mix up the baits a little bit here. Why not? So we've got some shrimps on there, uh, some small minnows. And then we'll have two with shiners. Just because it's a bigger bait, they, they're probably going to be more interested than that. Okay, let's change this. I don't know if it's going to work. I've never used buzz bait. I know poppers work here really well. Um, but we'll have a few casts with with just using the, the buzz bait. I want to see if that, if that works here. I'm interested to see. Well, let's change to that rod there. And then that, uh, take that rod out first. Now you can get snagged up here quite a bit as well. I have been snagged here many times. Hey folks, don't forget to smash that like button. Hey, you got that, there it is. I didn't even mention that actually once yet. So uh, <laughs> appreciate that, Doug. Thank you, man. Yeah, smack that like button. It's completely free. Don't cost anything. <clears throat> Some shrimps. I don't think I've used shrimps in this place, but again, I know, yeah, the bass will definitely go for that. 
They do love the shrimps in Florida for the bass, that's for sure. And some small minnows. There we go. That's how I like to see it. Before you even get all the rods out, you got to fish on. That's where, that's that's a hot spot. That's perfect time. Perfect uh, bait hook. Oh wow! First fish, unique bowfin. That's not bad, is it? Sorry, I couldn't show it longer. We got another fish on, but. That's not bad. Unique bowfin to start off with. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to use that uh, spinning rod if it carries on, carries on like that. That's a real fast pace. A lot faster than the gar, that's for sure. <clears throat> yeah, that's the only problem when you're downloading something. If you're downloading something, then... Uh, you play another game it really does slow it down like a lot a serious amount Ooh, there you go I'm only gonna put one out for a minute rather than keep putting more because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to there's no way I'm gonna get a chance to use this buzz bait it will just the rods will just keep going off so let's give this a little bit of a go let's see See if we get any interest. <clears throat> Can we get out of that snag? We can. Perfect. I'm going to do stop and go just because this lure is it is quite light. So Well, so far, not not anything. We come into a snag there. Water lily. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it is going to work. I don't know. Uh, we missed it. That was that. That was my chance to get it. First time catching San Connor buzz bait in this place, and I messed I messed it up. Uh, that's called Ark Survival. Ark Survival evolved. Good game that. <clears throat> mouse, yeah, the mouse probably would work better. But I'm using the controller because I use my mouse cursor over on my other monitor. Just so that way I can keep an eye on chat and stuff and make sure things remain family friendly. That's not... Well, look at that. That's not a bad fish. That he's got, he's got a little bit of a belly on him as well, hasn't he? Look at that. Oh, don't look as big like that. There you go. That looks better. <laughs> not a bad size. I think maybe the 4 rot hook should be... Four, five. Let's put on a five. We'll have more chance to see that unique bass then. Don't get snagged. I didn't. Perfect. All right, come on. One fish on the on this buzz bait. Just one. I just want to know if it works. Surely it's got to work. I had a little bit of interest on it. <clears throat> oh no, I didn't. I didn't put out that short clip of Fishing Planet today. Oh no, I forgot. All right, let me put that down. I quickly cast one out. I, uh, they all got three. That's got a free ot as well. Put a five. I put two rods out. I got to quickly edit the short clip video 
so we can upload it. Well, it's already been uploaded, but I've got to quickly process it. Give me one second. <clears throat> really, I should get these things done before I start live streaming, but today I was in a little bit of a rush. And that's why I put the bait rods down so that way we still get something. Uh, I do have Discord, but I don't, I don't, I don't ever, ever really use it. A lot of people always say Discord, but yeah, obviously it would be good if I did because you know I could chat to subscribers and stuff and whatever, and we could do all different stuff with a Discord. But yeah, I just don't really. Yeah, I just don't really use Discord. I, I got it on my PC. Just I don't even think I, f I signed out of it once, and then I forgot the password and stuff, and never signed back in since. Never even tried. How's it going, Joel? Good to see you, man. Another small one, and that's on a bigger hook. I'm thinking of cranking that up, you know, even more. Seven. I think that's that's the yeah, seven. I remember now. Now I'm putting on a seven. I remember it was a seven up. That's what I used before. Well, that's a big difference, isn't it? Three three up hooks to a seven. Slightly different. Trying to be as quick as I can. Don't worry though. We'll still get some interest from the bait rods, I'm sure. can adjust that second of March today where's the time go it just I don't know if it's just me as I'm getting older but time's just going too fast crazy yeah, we will put seven on that one as well Perfect. Did that? Did that snag? No, it didn't. Okay, for a second, then I thought we did. All right, come on, buzz bait. Let's catch something on this. Okay. Changed its mind. <clears throat> now I know if I put a lure on there, I'm going to get interest a lot faster. Or even a hunch runner. It is definitely possible to catch something with that though. Because we did have a bit of interest. I just didn't hit the strike right. I don't know why I kept that. I was meant to drop it. Alright, let's try a lure then. Or something. Uh, I know a popper will be good. Mm, the hunch runner. The frog as well. Um... Uh, let's use this. This is normally a popular popper. Popular popper. Popular popper. <laughs> Won't even try to be funny. <clears throat> I 
This looks like it could be a better size fish. Probably a bowfin. Yep. Oh no, it's not. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, there you go. There's another unique bowfin. That's a little bit bigger than the last one as well, so that's all right. At least if you ever gang off the bowfin, you know where to come. <clears throat> I'm fishing in a random room again today as well, just for anyone who's interested. I do that a lot. It's nice to always see what other people are catching as well. <clears throat> we we'll keep that one. Hey, there you go. Dad's in the chat. Have you been playing yourself? You've been online today? Ah, right, where's that? There you go. All right, this popper. I'm pr I know that casting over this way as well actually works pretty good for um for the bass as well. Let's try this popper though. Nice one, hi granddad. Not yet, you ain't been on yet. We've got to try and strike at the right time. Just about the post that short clip. I don't know why people like that. I started that off. I did a couple of them. Fishing Planet watching the tip. And then since then people have just gone crazy on it. And just keep saying please keep doing it. Please keep doing it. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys like it you know I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah, there we go. Watch the tip part 24. Is now out. Wow, we got all the family in here. We got everyone here. We got Mrs. Bubbly. We got Dad here. We got my kid here as well. We got everyone. <clears throat> um, I did send you a message, Mrs. Bubbly. Did you see it? I sent you a picture. I'm surprised we didn't get hit on that popper straight away. You know. Oh, you did see it? Did you, did you know? Did you know he did that? Did he tell you? Another bowfin. Oh, I missed your message there, Doug. Sorry, I'm, my bad. This is great. I'm grinding at Blue Crab and watching you stream. Life is good. That's the way to do it, man. It, that actually made me smile. <laughs> I love it when people do that. When people, yeah, they watch me game as well as playing it themselves. That's the that's the best way. What, what do you play on, Doug? Do you play on PC? There we go. There's another largemouth bass. Phoned in, but no answer. Okay. He rang me a dozen times. <laughs> and he messaged me as well. Oh, you didn't know? You just got out of the bath? Okay. Well, he said um, he was going to give you some. I'm going to change that. Didn't really get anything that big on the shrimp, did we? I need to change that hook as well. That one's a little bit on the small side. Nine people here, come on, smack that like button, it's completely free. Shows us love for Fishing Planet. Fishing Planet's the all-time best free game you can prob... Well, not probably. The best free game you can play. I haven't, I haven't yet found a game better than Fishing Planet, and I've played a lot of fishing games. Um, well, hi Bubbles family, hope you're doing... Oh, well, no, I didn't know, and it just got out of the bath. I read that one. Hi, Doug. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. We all good, Doug. Hope you. Oh, that's good. You all messaging back and chatting to each other. Awesome. 
He phoned me loads. Oh, that, yeah. Well, that's probably why he ain't answer, answering. I think he asked me if... Um, I, I can't remember what he said, because I was trying to... You know, I was I was live at that time. I go back on the message and I'll tell you what he said. He said some, he was doing something. I can't remember exactly what. All right, big guy, I'm going. All right, well, I appreciate it, Colin. Thanks for dropping by, man. You have a nice day. Yes, sir, on PC. Have I got you added on PC, Doug? Do you have me as a friend? We're going to do some fishing. You've been a subscriber for a long time, and yet we haven't even fished together yet. How does that make sense? I always fish with subscribers. There you go. Uh, it should be any time. It sh yeah, the Paddy's Day should be starting any time. I was thinking it, the Paddy's Day was on the 10th, but I got it wrong. It's St. Patrick's Day is the 17th, so... Um, uh, it should be this week. Normally they do it so they give you like 14 days to do them before Paddy's Day comes. So 14 days plus 2, that's 15, 16. So it could be today. It could be tomorrow. Yeah. The, as soon as the update comes though, there'll be a video on it. As soon as there's an update. As soon as I know, you guys will know. As long as you're subscribed, you won't miss out on those updates. Just just tried but couldn't find you. Yeah, look, this is my uh This is my PC account name. So it's capital Y and then O U, capital T and then U B E and then dot bubbles dot way. I'll leave it like that for a moment so you can uh so you can search me up. I think I go bull sharking later. Yeah, going for the sharks is good fun. They are. That's what you did. Okay. Um, if you want, you could put your username, and I could, I could add you. Look at every single person I've got added on Fishing Planet. Look at all of these people that they're all subscribers. Look at this, look. They're all subscribers. Every single one of these are subscribers and yet not one there's only one person online out of the lot. How's that how's that how's that even possible? Look how many. I couldn't eat, I don't even know how many. There's a lot though. And we've only got one online. <laughs> All right, let's set. Uh, oh, I hit my PlayStation. Maybe I weren't happy with it. Um, where was that again? Okay, there you go. Long gone, long gone, long gone fishing would have been awesome. And then is that a space twenty-seven? Let's try space search. No results have found. Okay, let's delete that and do it all together. No space, okay, it should find you now then. No. Wow, how's that not? And you're playing on PC, yeah? You said you was playing on PC. Mm. That don't work, leave the 27 off. Okay, let's try that. Okay, is yours there, capital? In capitals, long gone? I am long gone, long gone brute. That can't be you, that's level three. The second one? How comes it only, oh, that could be your rank maybe. 
Request friendship. There you go, Doug. Doug's been a subscriber for a long time. I can't believe we've never we've never fished with him yet. That's insane. Has it come up saying that I sent you a friend's request? Do you see do you see it? If, any, if anyone else wants to add me, type in uh, my name up there. It didn't? I'm just going to click all of them. There you go. Let me try putting 27 on the end again, see if it finds anything. Search. I haven't played in a long time, but glad to see you're still strong, Bubbles. <laughs> this is my all-time game. I play lots of games, new games, old games and stuff, but fishing is always going to be my number one. Nothing will ever change it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm pretty sure nothing will anyway. I say nothing, you never know. There could be a better game that comes out than Fishing Planet one day. I highly doubt it, but you never know. <clears throat> I haven't yet found one that... that uh, quite competes to this one but yeah I appreciate it though thanks for dropping in fishing planet 2 oh yeah that will yeah imagine yeah that I, I get some crazy hype just from the updates of fishing planet imagine if they actually did make fishing planet 2 I'd be in a whole different element wouldn't I <laughs> cool I don't know if I could control control that excitement It'd be nice though. Fishing Planet 2. Yeah, that's 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 a good idea. <laughs> Makes me smile just thinking about it. That'd be nice. Alright, we've got large minnows on there. We need to change that one. Uh that's our keep net. Oh gosh, come on. There you go. I hardly know what the buttons are on um on on the keyboard really. Me and Dad have always used a controller. We're definitely controller people. But I say that though, I do use mouse and keyboard for some stuff, but not not for Fishing Planet. I like to use the controller. I can sit back in my chair and relax, you know. That's the only reason why I haven't got the face cam on today, because I'm sitting quite far back. I'm sitting on my sofa rather than my chair. It makes it more comfortable. It means I can stream longer that way. <sighs> There's not much point in putting the face cam on. You wouldn't be able to see me. Too far away. All right, this popper, come on. Oh no, I want it. I try a hunch runner after this cast. It that yeah, that definitely would be more content. Yeah, that would yeah, I would be very busy. Do you know what? At the minute on offer, I keep thinking about it. I haven't got the cash yet, but I I really consider there's a couple of games new games that are out that I want to get but there is it's on offer I think for about £10 which is the Fisherman's Fishing Planet I don't know I keep thinking about it I do seriously keep thinking about it I don't know like for £10 it's not bad maybe um, maybe when I get some cash I'm, I, I'm, I am considering it I'm thinking about it I've never played it, so... I know that you have to pay for, for maps, though, don't you? So I'm told that you have to you have to pay for Blue Crab, and apparently they're quite far behind on the updates on the Fisherman's Fishing Planet, which I respect that, because Fishing Planet was there first. So I understand why they're a little bit slower on the updates on that game. That's kind of, that is kind of like Fishing Planet 2, or so they say. <clears throat> At least you can still sit back, yeah. You was debating that. That game looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, d I don't know. There you go. I knew that popper would work. That looks like... Is that... Is that drum? Or butterfly? Okay, no. Okay, well, I, I didn't say that. 
<laughs> thought that was a drum there for a second. And then I thought, no, maybe peacock bass. Mm, nobody heard that. Yeah, the fisherman's fishing planet. I don't know. I'll have a th I'll have a think about it. I might I might get it at some point. I'm wondering if you can crank graphics up more on that game. Does anybody know if you can make graphics better? Because on here on PC, look, I've got i got everything cranked. Like, I can't make the resolution anymore because I don't have a very good monitor, if I'm honest. But still, um, I've got everything on ultra and everything up on high. I'm wondering if... Um, see, the ones that are high, I wonder... Like the anti-analyzing and the dynamic water. I wonder if you can take that up to ultra on the fisherman's fishing planet. You'd have to start from scratch though. Yeah, I'd have to start from level one. Yeah. A video like that, I'd definitely enjoy watching. Yeah, some people like like it when they when people start from the very beginning. Yeah, it might be something that I do at some point. <clears throat> As I said, I don't really have cash flow at the minute, but when I do, I am considering about thinking about purchasing it, if it's still on offer, that is. I think you can even get that on, you can get that on console as well, can't you? I'd probably prefer it on PC, though. Yeah, it's on offer on Steam. I don't know about console. I'm um, I'm not sure. I haven't looked on console, but uh, it might be on offer on console as well. Possibly, as it, there is a there is a chance it might be. <clears throat> I've got a I got an email about it early this morning. Or was it yesterday morning? No, I think it was this morning, yeah. <clears throat> I think when that first came out, it was like £35, wasn't it? So down to £10, that's, that's pretty good. That's less than half of what it was. Apparently in that one as well, it's like a lot of bait coins. It's based more on bait coins so you get a lot of bait coins for for catching fish and stuff which they used to do that on fishing planet i don't know if all of you remember that maybe some of you might not but when you used to catch unique fish it used to give you bait coins that that was uh that's the good old days and it's really hard to get bait coins for free now on fishing planet that's why the Paddy's Day is always a good one because you actually get bait coins for catching some of those fish. So even if you're not going to follow the mission all the way through, it's still good to catch some of those fish just to stock up on bait coins. Yeah, when you first started, yeah. Yeah, you've seen it on PS4. Yeah, see, the PS4 and PS5 account, they're the same. So, if you ever go from PlayStation 4 up to PS5, you don't have to create a whole new account. You can carry on from your original account, which is good. Because I thought, when I went from PS4 to PS5, I thought, oh gosh, I'm going to have to create a whole new account and start it all over again. But, because it's PlayStation, it carries it over. Got PS4 version. Did that unsnag you? Yeah. But pay for it on PS5, it's good. Blue Crab is the highest you can go. Yeah, that's what a lot of people said. It's quite far behind on the updates. But then I, I understand why they put the updates to Fishing Planet first. That was there. That was there first. But you have to yeah, you have to you have to pay for it, yeah. 
Oh, we had a bit of interest there, but I missed it. How much does it cost for the Blue Crab Island DLC? I guess around about £30, I would have thought. Okay, that one's alright. There we go, perfect. Um, highest level you can go. Oh, you played that about six months ago. Okay, so maybe they could have... Maybe they could have updated it since then. Alright, so the popper works. Let's try the... Hunch Runner. I, I use this one quite a lot. In different lakes. This one, this one's a little bit of gold, this Hunch Runner. I didn't actually play, pay gold for it. But when I say it's a little bit of gold, I mean it works well. I'm guessing that's a bowfin, just because those bars are up a little bit more. Either that or a heavy lump of a bass, but I'm guessing bowfin. Yep. Does anybody else drop back to some of those lower level lakes or do you, once you get to max level do you always stay in those high lakes? When you get to max level do you always stay in that best lake or do you ever come back into some of those lower level lakes? It, you should come back into some of these lower lakes sometimes. They are good. It's like a little bit of a change of scenery. Things look different. You get a chance to catch different fish. We're at 20 to 7 in the morning. Probably should change time. The peak peak hours are probably gone by now. We like to entertain different fights, honestly. You go to Falcon Lake for the trout. Falcon Lake's a nice place, yeah. It is. I know that I caught some over this way. Yeah, I tried to tend. I tried to tend to go back to just all, all of them really. Like, there's not. I would probably say for the lower lakes, the f my favourite would be definitely Everglades, Florida. The pace of fishing there is insanely fast. Good old Sand Delta as well. Michigan and stuff. Yeah, there's lots of good places, but I don't always go to the ones that I prefer, I just go to any. Like I do like this place, Quenchin as well, but it's been a long time since I come here as well. And that's why I thought uh we'd do a stream in this place. It's been a short minute since I fished here as well. I don't even know the last time I fished in this place. Probably would have been for uh the Halloween event actually. Yeah it was. Catching the vampire gar. Should have should have changed the time. We'll do that in a minute. Let me see if I can hook anything over this way with that. If I don't keep getting snagged. Uh nah. We got snagged again. You like Michigan? Yeah, that's a nice place because you can go for pike. There's drum there. The Atlantic salmon fight well. A few walleye. And then you've got sturgeon, blue catfish. Yeah, there's a lot of different a lot of different species there to catch. I was gonna say five months I beat you. <laughs> well there you go, I didn't get snagged. We're definitely at the wrong times now. We'll jump forward. <clears throat> I'm sure before I used to cast in between those two trees there. Straight down the middle. I'll try that in a moment. Let's change time though. We need to change the time. 
23 minutes left on your download. If you remember, you had to buy blue crab as well. And the only way to get bait coins is catching the unique fish. And I think blue crab at the time was roughly 5 99 That's not bad. That's a good price. Yeah, Michigan, yeah, there is a lot of different fish. Trophy largemouth. That's not bad. <coughs> well, that one was snagged. Uh, do I change to the evening time? I'm sure I did catch that early morning. Let's have a look for that marker. See. Oh, that was for the historic largemouth. I haven't even got a marker there for the unique. I know there is unique there, though. They have caught it before. We go to. That gives us quite a few hours. We do like six till eight before we jump to the next day. I think a lot of people thought that I gave up on Fishing Planet. I had so many comments because I was doing quite a bit of Fortnite videos. I had so many comments saying to me, Is, do you not play Fishing Planet anymore? Well, do people not understand me? Come on. You guys should have known me long enough now. I've been on YouTube long enough to know that there ain't going to be anything that comes before Fishing Planet. <laughs> well, that's just straight up a fact. There ain't nothing. Nothing at all. Unless there's fish in Planet 2. Then maybe. But other than that. There's not going to be anything. Well, you never know. There could end up being another fishing game. That turns out to be really good one day. I've tried so many fishing games. In fact today I, I had an update on. um. What is it? Oh, I've forgotten what it's called. Fishing, fishing North Atlantic. There was an update on that today. I might actually after the stream I might actually check it out and see see what the update was oh we snagged again there's two gig left they miss you <laughs> Spanish moss I don't think I've ever ever seen that out of my whole time of playing like, has anyone ever seen that Spanish moss? I'm not even kidding. Now, my whole time of playing Fishing Planet, I've never ever seen Spanish moss. Yeah, that is that is definitely the first time. Oh wow! Look, they're getting bigger. Seventeen pound. I'm sorry, I can't show that longer. I know you guys probably would have liked to have seen that longer, but it's because of Mum's internet. Okay, not that one. You like the different streams? Yeah, some people like to see different stuff. Some people only like to see Fishing Planet. I just, you know, I'm trying to grow as a content creator, so I've got to show other stuff as well, you know. And it's always going to be Fishing Planet, but I have got to show other stuff. That's how I'm going to grow a bigger audience. Oh wow, yeah, that's the life of kids, teenagers are lazy, I agree, 110%, I'm with you there Mrs. Bubbles, get them up, get, tell them to go out the house for a little bit, tell them to go, go for a walk, get some fresh air, I've been playing a lot of Call of the Wild, yeah, a lot of people like Call of the Wild, don't they, a lot, a lot of people do. That's life of being a parent, yeah. Teenage, yeah, cleaning up behind teenagers all the time. It's great fun. <laughs> great fun. I keep getting snagged up quite a bit here. Didn't even realise you were still in the chat dots. 
That one, there you go. We got the right one. That one was snagged. Make sure you keep drink, drinking those lem sips. As I said, they do they do help a little bit. They really do. Like not it doesn't make you feel a hundred percent better, but they definitely they definitely do help. Yeah, COVID effect affects different people in different ways, doesn't it? We've got snagged there. We'll have a look at that in a moment. It don't do nothing. You might feel like it don't do nothing, but it, it really will. It'll perk you up a little bit. You can only use one rod at a time, though. Gets a little boring. COVID really does mess you up. Yeah, it does. It does for a lot of people. It has put, because of L out of breath some people get they've actually had to go to hospital and stuff didn't they you've asked them for at least two rod holders yeah that's how fishing planet used to be though when it started didn't it as well you don't you wouldn't have rod stands you would have just one rod in your hand and and that's that this game's come a long way that could be unique it could be unique. It could be. Put your bets. Yes or no. Yes or no. Quick. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. I'm saying yes. Just as I said yes, it went ching. There it is. We finally got it. Boom. And that, we need to set a marker for just so that way if anybody ever asks me to send it to them. Marking mode. There we go. Unique largemouth bass. That one took a short minute to find it as well, didn't it? That that did take a short minute. Okay, that one's quite small. Let's check out that one. You might do a stream later. I think you should help your mum. That's what I think you should be doing. If your mum don't feel well, you should be helping your mum. Not not thinking about doing a stream. Um, I have no options to rest. I have loads of tidying and washing. Massive pile of washing. Yeah, there's always a big pile of washing. I've done one one lot of washing today, but I am going to need to... I definitely need to do more. i got a big pile up myself. I hear you, Mrs. Bub Bubbles. I have COPD. Yeah, she 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 does. Yeah, she she's definitely got a cleaning disorder. Like if something isn't clean, or she she's she's a nightmare to be around. I'm not I'm not I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, if it's not clean, if she sees mess on her sides in her kitchen, or there's a mess in the front room, or anywhere in any room, she gets cranky. She she gets yeah. She doesn't like like she doesn't mind the kids playing with stuff, but then. That kind of irritates her because they play with it. Then they leave it out. Then they grab something else. They grab something else. So then within 10 minutes, the room is covered in all different stuff. <laughs> all the stands is going off. Yeah. <laughs> it, this, the, the bite alarms can drive you a little crazy sometimes. Especially for me when I'm playing like 12, 16 hours, 24 hours when those updates come out. When I'm playing for that amount of hours, the the bite alarms do drive me a little bit a little bit cranky sometimes, but luckily for me, I now have an audio button to turn it down. Before I didn't, so I had no choice to listen to it. That's rough times. <laughs> oh oh okay, yeah, I misread that. Yeah, I misread that. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, Doug. Yeah. She she has OCD. Sorry. Yeah, I misread that. Yeah, she has a really big cleaning problem. Big time. Sounds like your missus. 
Oh, at least I know. That's good to hear, Doug. At least I know it's not just uh, just one woman. <laughs> oh, I could get in trouble. I gotta be careful what I say here, Doug. I could get in serious trouble. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Look at that. Boom. We went from no unique large mouth to two. That was pretty fast going as well. So the evening time seems like the time for it rather than early morning then. <clears throat> it sounds like your missus. You can't get in trouble. She ain't here listening. Or at least you hope not. <laughs> I've tidied my room. Yeah, you've tidied your room. But help your mum tidy other stuff, not just your room. If your mum's not feeling well, you need to look after her. She looks after you. You've got to look after her. That's the way life is. You look after each other. Go make her a nice tea. That'll make her smile. Go on, go on, bear. Go make her tea. She likes tea. That'll cheer her up. Nice warm cup of tea. You can make me one as well. You're actually pretty good at making tea. She tidied her room after two days of me telling her. Yeah, that's a typical teenager. <laughs> But we love them bubbles, you know that. Mm, they all they drive you crazy, but yeah. Yes, yes, so indeed. It's one of those, you know, when you when you've been with someone for so long, it's one of those that you you wouldn't want to live with them, definitely not. But then you don't want to live without them. Kind of, definitely not. <laughs> Oh wow, I could, I could get in serious trouble. i got to be careful. <laughs> I'm only being brave because we're not in the same house. If I was there, I'd be like, it's okay, I'll tidy up for you. You tell me You tell me what's making you, you irritated. You tell, me, you tell me and I'll do it for you. You're lucky you ain't here. Oh yeah, I believe it. <laughs> we all love you, Mrs. Bubbly. You know, that that's another reason, you know, there's a lot of things that go behind the scenes as well through YouTube and it definitely has through my channel, you know. Kids make my kids have made me some content when I've struggled and Mrs. Bubbly has given us ideas and her always spending a lot of time with the kids, you know. She does everything for the kids. Her spending a lot of time with the kids is that's what makes it possible for me to be able to do more live streams and me to put out tons of videos and stuff when those updates drop and i'm spending all all day all night all day all night 24 hours at my desk what makes that possible is mrs bubbly she helps with it and she weren't putting in as much you know the amount of time that she puts in to those kids makes it possible for me to to be able to put more here for you guys a lot of things happen behind the scenes People don't always know. There you go, Mrs. Bubbly. That 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 was an ego boost for you, surely. That's me saying Saint Nice. It's truth, but it's me saying Saint Nice. Now let's see, Hunch Runner. Can we? Uh, yeah. Let, oh no. Sink. No. Sink. Come on, sink. No, it's not going to sink, is it? We're going to end up snagging. There you go. Let's put a real speed free of them too. Thanks. Yeah, well, thanks to you as well. Thanks to you, Mrs. Bubbly. Ah, oh, we all give her a hug because she has COVID and she's not feeling well. Do you know what? When you have a hug and you don't feel good, that always makes you feel better, doesn't it? Come on. Nobody can't say it, don't. I'm making her a tea. Well done, Bear. There you go. That's what I want to hear. You look after Mummy. Mummy don't feel well. you got to look after her. She looks after you, you have to look after her. We're going to snag again. Okay, let's take the real speed up so it sinks quicker. Uh, kind of. There you go. Now we go back to real speed too. Yep. Yeah, you have an infection on your foot. Oh, I'll, I'll, mass I'll give you a nice massage. Don't worry. Bubbles has got you. King Fisherman Bubbles. Or in this case, it'll probably be foot cream bubbles. But yeah. <laughs> Never both in. I do feel sorry for you, poor Mrs. Bubbly. Mrs. Bubbly's all ill. 
She needs a warm dressing gown, a warm cup of tea from Little Bear, and a nice little hug up into the blanket. Ah, that sounds nice. Quiet is cold today. I am glad that I can put my heater on now. I finally put some money on the, the electric, so that's good. We can actually put a heater on rather than sitting here freezing. Although I try not to leave that heater on too long, it gives me a bit of a headache. Too much heat. I've only got it on low though, so it's alright. I think I'm going to need to grab a bit of H2O, guys. As always, I'm in such a rush to try and get the stream going that I completely forget my drink. Oh, actually, a cup of coffee sounds good. This is why you need a bear to be here. Oh, wow. That, you guys, I don't know why you guys love it. Look at that. There's so many comments on that Fishing Planet video that we dropped, that short clip video. 740 views as well, already. Hasn't even been posted in an hour. 740 views watching the tip part 24 they're good though they're, they're, they are, they have been a little bit challenging putting some of those uh, watching the tip yeah they have been a bit challenging because some of the fish are so big and I've got to try and reel them in within one minute for a short clip video like I don't know if you've tried doing that yourself try timing yourself try and reel in a big fish within 60 seconds is not it's not very yeah it's not always possible <coughs> your bacon yeah your temperature is going to get hot and cold it will do that come on get out of those snags there we go ah look at that Doug showing some support mrs bubbles you get you get better, you hear? Yeah. The kids need to make her some nice tea and uh, snuggle up in the blanket. Sweating it out probably is the best way, to be honest. Like, it really is. Although it doesn't make you feel very nice when you're sweating. It's the... I hate it when I sweat, to be honest. Not that I don't really sweat unless I'm working out, but still. You know, if you... Yeah. When you're sweaty, it's not, it's not good. But when you've got a flu, sweating it out is the best way, you know? Put loads of clothes on. Get into it. Some blankets and stuff. Plenty of water, yeah. That plenty of cold water really does help, yeah. Washing it all out. Well done, Dots. Put the flannel in the freezer. Yeah, I've heard of that. I've never done it. I have heard that people's done that. Put a flannel in a freezer, yeah. I should try that one time. Right, I'll let you guys in chat talk amongst yourselves for a moment. Um, I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to make myself some coffee. If I do that, that's how we can keep the stream going longer, because I have a little bit of an addiction to coffee, I think. <laughs> Never a good thing. Don't recommend it, but yeah, I'll be right back. I'll come back and forth whilst the kettle's on boil as well. <laughs> Mrs. Bubbly, I washed your jumper as well. I didn't put it in the tumble dryer. I hang, I hang it up on a coat hanger to dry.
So Dots is my brother as well, Doug, if you didn't know. Been drinking loads of water, Dots, in case you just made me a tea. Yeah, it's good. Keep drinking water. Have some nice tea, warm you up. Even if you are sweating, it's good. Sweat it all out, make you feel better. Just made mum a tea, an alpha tea. Oh yeah, and now you're making everyone tea and I've got to make my own coffee. What's going on? There's something wrong here. We ain't got something right. <laughs> I'm making my own coffee and you're making everyone tea. Say okay, game right. You know what, since we've been doing this stream, we've basically had just over one view every second. That's insane. Goes to show that people do like fishing planet, huh? It's family friendly as well, that's the awesome thing about fishing. Well, this game anyway. Yeah, get really hot. Good here, sir, thanks. Good to hear, Doug. We'll give that a try, Dots, thanks. Yeah, you should definitely try that. I'm gonna try that one time. Put a cold flannel in a freezer. Right, my kettle's boiled. I'll be right back. <sighs> it would have helped if I picked up my cup, wouldn't it? You really can't beat coffee. You really cannot. Ugh. Yeah, we've had uh, a lot of people interested in Fishing Planet today. That's good. I like to try and share Fishing Planet as much as we can. Why is it not letting me skip time forward? There you go, we finally got there. I must have pushed that button about 50 times. <coughs> oh, it was cold getting up. Now we go to 6 p.m. again, and then towards the 8 p.m. is where the high peak is at. <sighs> You'll come down and make me coffee. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I. Uh, Again, it's always a cash thing, isn't it? But I was thinking at some point I might get myself a little coffee machine inside the front room just for when I'm streaming. But I, I don't know. I think that could that would be good, but I think it'd be bad because I'd drink more, a lot more. I need to head back to work. Lunch break is over. Have a great stream. All right, Dots, no worries, man. Catch you in a bit. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah. 
your birthday present is sorted then no I don't think I don't think it's a good idea I don't if I had a coffee machine right next to me like I would yeah no nah. I'd be jacked up on coffee <laughs> rather than energy drinks no it's not good I need to slow down drinking coffee <clears throat> Oh, Nightbot's doing a bit of overtime. Nothing new there, is there? Yeah, keep drinking lattes all the time ain't good for you neither. Yeah. Oh, wow, Fishing Planet's running a bit slow. have a look see if we've got any info on that update give me one moment I'm still gonna reel that in let's be quick grab that one there we go about to cast that one then. <clears throat> yeah, they're they're quite expensive though, aren't they? Keep buying the pods. Okay, there is no news on the update yet for uh, the Paddy's Day. But as I said, I'm pretty sure it's going to be towards the end of this week. <coughs> Could be like Friday, Saturday maybe. I'm pretty sure. If it's not, it will be early, like Monday, Tuesday, but... I'm pretty sure it's going to be this weekend. Depends on where you order them from. Yeah, no, it's not a good idea. It's not. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Um... news one hour ago what's that we ordered from Nespresso site cost 100 pound for like 160 pods that's crazy man There's not um, any info. Well, it's worth a look there. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realise. A unique bowfin. That was miles away. Um, fishing planet done. Who plays... Who pays that? Yeah, that's crazy money, isn't it? <laughs> 100 pounds for 160 pots. Yeah, 100 pounds for 160 cups of coffee. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know, though. How many cups of coffee, like, 
do I make out of my Kenko jar that I actually make up myself? I would say I'd probably get about 200 cups out of that, surely. We all know who pays for that. <laughs> you, no chance. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't really imagine dots paying that much. That's that's quite a bit. Now, do you make an account on Fishing Planet? Well, it's been, it's been. You know, I've played this game for seven years. You're asking someone who done that seven years ago. <laughs> but I did uh, open an account last year on Fishing Planet on mobile. Um, just basically load up the game, choose your character, boy or girl, however you want it to look. And then uh, yeah, I'll tell you to choose a name, type your name. I'm going to be honest, in, in the beginning, when you first play Fishing Planet, like level one, it is, it is very slow. A very, very slow game. Um slow pace of fishing not very big fish not very good stuff not good rods and stuff but the more you play it and you progress through the game it definitely does it definitely does get better a hundred percent it gets better it's just um yeah always try to use barbless hooks that's one thing i always say barbless barbless hooks are so important look up there in the top right it says barbless hook Although I'm max level, I still always put barbless hooks on just because people then ask me why am I using it. And then I say I use it because you asked me why am I using it. I like to use it and people say, how come you use barbless, not normal? Well, the barbless gives you more XP, helps you level up faster. <clears throat> Paul pays for it and I drink the lattes. <laughs> like your mother, Dots, come on. <laughs> Two trophies there. Casey, come here, get some what's it, what's it's crisps, <laughs> and dip them in your tea. Them two are not normal. Who else does that? Who like who does that in general? Who dips what's it's in tea? I've never. Oh my gosh, I've never heard of that. <laughs> Registration email. You don't have to type in an email, but yeah, you can type in an email address. Eel. Yeah, that's what I thought. Eel. What's it's in tea? Who who, who even... Who puts what's it's in tea? Come on. Who even does that? Don't forget to smack that like button as well. Come on, guys. It doesn't cost anything. It's completely free. It let's us know that you're still enjoying Fishing Planet. 10 people in here, well, 12 people in here now, 10 likes, come on, completely free, it lets us know that Fishing Planet is the best game, the best fishing game you can get, so far, till, up till today anyway, unless there's something that beats it, I'd let you know, but I highly doubt it, <clears throat> it's actually really nice, what, putting what's it's in tea, couldn't, couldn't imagine it, could not imagine it, it's really not nice. There you go, Bear. Well done for verifying. I didn't think it would be nice. What's it, Sinti? You're, you're a strange one, Mrs. Bubbly. <laughs> you, you, are, you, are, you are different. You are definitely different to, to others. Mum, that's who. <laughs> I tried it. It's really nice. So now I'm doing it. Oh, my God. Gosh, wouldn't it just like melt the what's it like oh jeez no no definitely not right <laughs> i'm definitely out now need to save battery for my train ticket have a good stream see you in a bit dots thanks for joining us man so it's been a great stream but have to go no worries doug um hopefully at some point you can try to send me a friend request or i can send you one and we can we can fish together at some point man it'd be nice Take care. Thanks for dropping by, man. Yes, that's weird. Putting quavers in coke. Like, I don't even know. You're definitely different. Now, just dunk it. Dunk it quickly. Oh, my gosh. No way. 
what's it's in tea and quavers in coke like i don't even know thank you everyone who smacked that like button we got a few more likes now i appreciate it that is insane right i would never even dream of putting a what's it in my cup of tea i would not even it wouldn't even come into my mind like i don't know how's that even come into your mind to even do that <laughs> Uh, no. Definitely, definitely not. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. That's definitely different. <clears throat> wow. That tip of the rod video. 900 views. I don't know why you guys like that so much. I just don't, I just don't know. Oh, press the wrong button there. Oh, look at that. There you go. Update queued. I told you there was an update on that. I might as well let that. I don't know why it always stops my updates when I load my game. I, I'm sure I changed it so it doesn't do that. And oh, there you go. That's updating. Yeah, I want to try that later. I'm interested to, to have a look at that. It's been a short minute since I've played Fish in North Atlantic as well. I might even... I might, might, might make a video on it. Let's use that lure rod. Let's mess around with it. Tilly just saw me and said, Ooh, mum, that's disgusting. Yeah, well, at least, at least she gets the idea. It's not, yeah. What's it's in tea? Well done, tea, tea, tea. <laughs> that's a little bit crazy, isn't it? I don't know how you get these ideas. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to use. What should we use? Should we use a craw... Oh, that might be good. A crawfish. Mm. Oh, actually, maybe... Do I have any bass jigs? Probably not. Although that... That is always a popular one. I said that last time. That was a really good one. But that was on the 6. This one's the 4. It's a bullet spinner, actually. It's not even the same one. No. Ignore what I just said. Let's try that one. A bullet spinner. She's just tried it and she likes it. Oh my gosh. It's definitely your kid. No denying that. <laughs> What's it's in tea? Come on. Really? Ah. Uh. I'm happy just to drink my my glass of coffee that just just normal just the way it is a little bit of a snag there there we go that was really late that was a really late take I'm only using a four up I need I know I need bigger Try top water. I'll give that a go if that's, if that's what you want to see. I don't normally use like the top water ones are good, but they because there's so many. Um, that's the one X series medium. That's normally the better one. <coughs> yeah, the jigs because they sit on top of the water. It's um, there you go, walkers. I try that one. Yeah, I reckon it will work good, but. Because there's a lot of lily pads, equals a lot of snags. But we'll give it a go though. Although I have my own way of fishing, I always, if someone ever says try this, try that, I'm always willing to try something else. What I use works, but then what other people use, that could work as well. That's why I always try it. All right, no worries, cool. <coughs> yeah. Dan suggested the walker. I believe it will definitely catch something. That's as long as we don't keep snagging too much. So the reason why I know the walker will definitely work is because the popper works and the popper's on the top of the water. 
Same as the walker. It's on top of the water. I'm pretty sure something will take it. Oh, I missed it there. First blue gill. I remember, yeah. They're, they're the blue gill and golden china are normally the first couple of fish that you catch from level one. Seven PM. Getting towards the eight PM mark is more the higher peak, so that could be where we get that that unique fish, largemouth bass, golden chi it's shiner, shiner. <laughs> I like I like this game. Although I love playing new games and stuff, the reason why I like this one is it's relaxing. If you feel stressed or you just have some spare time or you just want to relax, playing a game like this is definitely there. We go. I told you the walker would work. I believed in you, Daniel. As soon as you said, I said I'd definitely catch something. There's the proof. Both in. I believed in you, man. I didn't doubt you for one second. I said it would catch, and it did. That's why it's nice sometimes to use other people's methods or other people's ideas rather than always just your own. As I say, I always use my own method, but I do definitely try what other people say as well. Because sometimes other people's stuff could work better than mine, you know? I don't think it would. I've played this game long enough to experience what, what is good and what isn't, but I still definitely try other people's it could you never know it could be better could catch bigger or it could catch at a faster pace and I'm always down for catching at fast pace I don't like it when it's taking too long to catch a fish I'm too impatient to wait we've had quite a few of these unique bowfin though so that's nice we even had a bowfin on the walker as well so that's good There's bowfin all around this place Although it's good for bass, it's definitely good for bowfin. There's another one. A bit of 15 pounds unique bowfin in real life though would definitely give you a good fight. I don't doubt that. I think the biggest we've had so far is about 17 pounds something, weren't it? I'm pretty sure that put up a good fight as well. We won't use the shrimps because I've got a smaller hook on that one. There we go. A lot of movement around there now. It's because we're getting closer to that 8 o'clock mark, the better peak time. <coughs> Rods I'm using here are obviously a little bit overpowered. It would be more of a fight if I used a weaker rod, but I'm just using these because... That's just what I already have to hand and already set up, so. I do do that sometimes, though. I like to sometimes use a weaker rod and catch a big fish. We did that in Blue Crab with the with this rod. This is only a 46-pound rod set up, and we, we, we were pulling in tarping over 100 pounds. Pretty sure the frogs will do well here as well, because that's again another top water. <coughs> you just got a white crappy. I'm going to show you something in a minute, so that way you know it's a good little tip. And I'll show you in a sec. I reel this in and then I'll show you. You always want to fi uh, fish at peak times. If you fish at peak times, that means you're going to catch fish a lot faster. As long as you're in the right spot. Okay, so no matter what lake you're in, 
for me, I press a different button. For you, if you press circle, it takes you to this screen. And if you press L1, it takes you to the map. When you're on the map, you can go down to weather forecast. And everywhere where you see this bright high point, that's a high point, that's a high point. Wherever you see the high points, it tells you the time. So for this one, from 5 a.m. till about 8 a.m., that's peak time. That means that that's when you're going to catch most fish. And then the same for here. So if I started at like 6 p.m. up to about, uh, yeah, about 9, from 6 till 9 p.m. there, that's a peak time. That's when I'm going to catch most fish. And it works like that for night time. You see the dip there, that's no good. These dips are no good, so you want to fish the times between the times of where that is high. Whenever that you see that deep purple there, that's a high point, that's the time you want to fish. There, that bright yellow, that's the time you want to fish. There, yellow, that's the time you want to fish. When it starts dropping down, you're going to catch fish at a slower pace. Although you can still catch fish fast, you're always better off catching them when it's at the higher points so you see there look because I'm at seven something that's showing where I am so when it gets to eight that's going to be a higher peak but then nine is going to be the, the better time for it <coughs> always try fish those times I never used to personally I used to just go into a lake and fish and I've always caught fish but if you fish those those higher points that's when you're going to be able to catch fish that bit faster it's worth remembering that some interest on the other one <coughs> on the good old small minnows both in yep Let's go back to that. I'm going to have one more cast for this walker. And then, if I get a chance to, uh, then I'm going to put on a frog on there. I'm pretty sure a frog would do well. This one's on shiners. Largemouth bass. Somebody just caught a trophy trophy alligator gar, 90 pound. It did say it don't go up to 90 pound. It said it only went up to 55 pound. Wow. <coughs> That's strange. Alrighty. Well, that's real good. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on a frog. I reckon that's gonna work. Golden shiner. Yeah, you do catch really small fish. Oh. You do catch really small fish in the beginning, but as you progress through and you earn more money, you'll be able to buy new stuff. Another bowfin. So what do you think of it? Now you caught a couple of fish, what do you think of it? What do you think of the game? Do you think you like it? Do you think it's good? I know it's a bit of a slow pace. It definitely will be. It definitely will be a slow pace of catching, but the more you play it, as I said, it will get better. OK, 
Okay, so frogs. There's a free up. Let's go with that one. Yeah. We will get a chance to use that, don't worry. <coughs> well, we got a bass this time. Large mouth. There you go. Now let's have a quick cast for this one. Before one of those rods go off, see if we can get something to hit the the frog. So many lily pads around. I'm not getting the popping right. I'm not paying attention to that. I just want to hit that strike at the right time. There is a way to change your settings as well. Now you see mine, my real thing is on the side there, on the right. And it shows my line, it shows my rod and it shows my reel. For you it might just show one bar. You can change it so that way you can see like how mine is. You can change that in the settings. All the bait rods are going. Well, oh, that one got snagged. bass <clears throat> yeah does your show up three bars on the right or one bar So you see those three bars there? Have you got those three bars there or do you have just one? I think it starts you off with just one. But as I said, you can change it. You have to make sure that your line doesn't your line and reel and rod and stuff doesn't go above those red. If it goes above the red, it can snap or break. You gotta go. All right, no worries, Daniel. I appreciate you dropping by, man. Take care, man. Have a good day. Good night. Good evening. Wherever you are. Oh, I missed it. Don't know how to make it go further. Click in the analog stick your analog which is the things you put your thumbs on to move click them in push them down and you'll hear a click that will change the length of how far you cast oh I missed it again no way that's twice we've had Something try to take it and I missed it. Means that the frog does work, it just means I ain't hooking at the right time. Can you cast it further now? 
pushing the analog sticks down just click you push them so they click and then it'll change the position of your line you'll see it change I can't show you because I don't have a float rod on me at least I don't think no I don't I don't very often use float rods although they are pretty decent setups though they are quite strong where it might get snagged no nope. right, let's try cast over this way it's nice to see that little bird there I don't know if you guys saw it little bird flying past Surprised that ain't got snagged yet. Well, nothing. both in yep. really is all I need is one good size Nile perch and I'd rank up <coughs> it's nice to see that someone there level 46 42 pound flathead I bet they were well happy with that I know I would have been at that level being a low level when you catch good sized fish gives you a good little rush see a bit of movement over there so I'm now at the 8 o'clock mark This is where the water's at a higher peak. Although it could be a little bit late in the evening. I think around 6 p.m. is normally the better time. So I'm probably going to change to the next day in a minute. <coughs> the bass. Or we could go catch some catfish ourselves. Not that location. Over there. Yeah. How big was that one? Was that a unique? Oh no, that was normal size. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's. Let's go for some of these catfish. Hopefully I'm not in that guy's way. No. Oh look, he's got he's got that rod stand. Haven't seen that one for a while. Cool, he really struggled to bring that in. <laughs> yeah, that's weaker gear, makes it more fun. You found out how to do it now? Oh that's good. Yeah, if you if you go into your settings, you can change change it here. But it says tackle loadout indicator, tackle load indicator. 
Yours will probably be on simple, but you can have it on pro, like how I've got it, so it shows you more, you can balance it better, so that way your line doesn't break, or your rod doesn't break, or your reel, and leader and stuff. Where you got, When you got it on simple, you can't really, yeah, you can't really judge it. You can also go on to key binds as well, and you can have a look there, and whatever you don't know, it will show you there what every button does. Good little tip. That was on medium cut bait, wasn't it? That one. Yeah, medium cut bait. Alright. Let's change over our bait and our hook then. I think between four and a six. How big do they go up to? That's how we can judge it. We've got blue catfish. Weight of 155 pounds leeches as well there you go okay leeches I call that on medium cut bait but yeah leeches as well um, I got to about 45 pound so yeah probably a four up a four up then okay four up and then I don't think I've got any leeches oh I have got some leeches on me we we'll use some leeches and then we we'll use some as medium cut bait. I think a four up is the way to go. There we go. I've got to change that one. We got a five up on there. Yeah, that'd be fine. We we'll leave the five up. Okay, have I got medium cut bait on me? I think I have. It's something I would normally have. There we go. And then, okay, I got a free on there. Let's change that. There we go. Well, then we're going to change the next day. The game's bugging. I'm not sure what's happening there. There we go. We've got a peak time early morning. That's perfect. Cool. Well, there's a bit of lag going on. There's there is definitely a bit of lag. Alright. Now let's go back to it. There you go. Now I can move. I actually couldn't move my rod at all like it. I don't know. Don't know why it didn't show that guy catching a fish there. But for some reason it didn't. It's only me and this guy in this lake now. Ooh. Got the sensitivity up a little bit. There you go, we got a couple medium cut bait. And then we got some leeches. I'll have a couple of casts with the uh, rod as well, the spinning rod. I don't think a frog from this location, although it could, but maybe. Mm. See, catfish have been known to take on lures and stuff as well you know so that's uh could use one of those jigging spoons roach spoons you're back welcome back uh we're gonna tr i think a bullet spinner let's try a bullet spinner oh i can add something onto that i don't think i ever have before to be honest can i oh i can add a jig Exit. Oh, oh, okay. I won't. I don't know. Don't know what I'm doing right now. Wrong button. Wait. Hold on. Oh. That. Oh, I don't know what to put on. Yeah. 
Yeah, we we just let's go with the bullet spinner. Go down five more. I I, I went through that menu pretty fast. <laughs> I don't know, don't know what one. <coughs> Here we go. <coughs> Let's see if I get any interest on this bullet spinner before the rod goes off. <clears throat> A little bit. Cool. Well, they're a bit finicky, aren't they? That kind of tells me that I ain't got the right hook there. I don't know how well this bullet spin is going to work from here, but... I don't think I've done spinning over this way. Let's try twitching. I think that's heavy, so it might stay down. Yeah, there you go. We got something on the bullet spinner. What it is, not a clue, but there's definitely something. Oh, a bass. I'm going to wait for the movement on the line. There you go, I see it. Never rush to pick them up too quick. I think I need to put on maybe a bigger hook. Channel catfish. I'll put a bigger hook just on this rod. I think a six. Just see if it makes any difference. on the leech trophy channel catfish it's got some belly on it that one isn't it probably won't oh yeah yeah it's got some belly on it that one now we'll make this hook bigger as well so there's one on the leech. Also, it does give you some tips as well sometimes, Bear. If you don't know, uh, if you're going to fish species, species, it will show you what fish are in the lake, but also each one will show you what bait they prefer. And as a little tip like that as well, sometimes they tell you that they prefer to eat in the daytime. Sometimes they tell you they prefer to eat at night time as well. Tells you what kind of size they can go up to. So that's a good little tip. If you don't, if you want to catch a certain fish, you're in a certain lake and you don't know. I, to be honest, I don't really think I've ever used that that much. Well, I say that much. I don't really think I ever bother to look at that. Other than to see what's in the lake. Like, if there's a new lake that comes out. If a new lake drops, I have a look to see what fish is there. And then that's it. I don't really pay attention to bait. But then that's because I've played it for so long. I know, I know what certain fish eat. But it's handy to know if you don't know. Let's go back to twitching because that worked. Fish on, boys, and a fish on there as well. 
double hooked as a catfish. Nice, 33 pound. It's not bad. Large mouth bass. That's why I like messing around with the spinning rod. If one of your rods ain't going off, you can always mess around with that. There you go. This is a bigger fish. And this is me changing the hook to a 6 up. So I'm going to change the others to a 6. Maybe the 4 was a little small. Look at that one. That one looks well glittery, doesn't it? Forty-one pound and a half. Not bad size. <clears throat> Some pretty good cash as well if you're a low level. One thousand six hundred. Sometimes when the hook's too big, it don't work. Sometimes when the hook's too small, it doesn't work. And you can normally tell when it doesn't work because your rods are beep quite a lot or your rods are keep on trying to take a bite but it won't actually take it and that's normally an indication that you haven't got the right hook size different methods as well for using the different lures stop and go lift and drop twitching straight popping and take a short minute to learn but once you get the hang of it they ain't too bad I missed it there I had a bite I can get some proper range with this one. Nearly 200 foot. See, normally if I was fishing for catfish, normally I'd fish in the in the night time. And the only reason why I'm doing early morning is because I want to mess around a little bit with this spinning rod. I'm pretty sure if we was at night, we'd catch them faster. It's not letting you keep any more fish. That means you filled up your net. Then you have to go to the next day. The next day starts at 5 a.m. We'll try the night time and I'll put on a shed and we'll have a few casts like that. We'll change those hook sizes as well on the other rods, put a bigger hook on them. guy next to me is doing well though he ain't got many rods but he's catching fish so that one that's a five volt that one's not too bad this one's six you're bored so, well you ain't gonna be bored for a lot longer is you got to start thinking of saying that you're going to cook for dinner is 2.30. Cool, that's a messed up peak time. 2 o'clock in the morning. Hmm... 
And we're going to jump as it's raining. There you go. Peak time at night. We've got another marker way back over there near the tree as well. <laughs> the kids can defend for themselves. It's funny when you say that. Is that catfish out there as well? Oh, that's the alligator guy. <laughs> defend for themselves. Gotta make sure you eat something. If you don't eat something, you, you're not gonna. It's not gonna make you feel any better. You need to get some food in you. Give you a bit. Give yourself a bit of energy. Boost yourself up a little bit. You don't have energy to get up. Yeah, I know, but you still need to eat something though. Boost your energy. Alright, let's try a shad nighttime one on that. See if we get any interest with that. From this location, as I said, I'm kind of just uh, guessing a little bit. I've got a six. We could use the. Could you, yeah, let's try that rather than a shad. <coughs> it's heavy. Should be able to do twitching as it's heavy. I'm not standing there to cook. No, just throw something in the oven and then time it. Oh, wow, I missed it there. That was a good, good bite as well. That was a big fish. You ain't doing that. Uh, to get the next day, press square. And then use the left analog stick to move, change time to 5 a.m. Takes you to the next day. Text. Something definitely did did try to take this. So I wanna see if we can try hook hook onto something with that. I don't know if that could be that could be the gar, but then that could be a catfish as well. As I said, the catfish have been known to take on different lures and stuff, so we'll see. Missed it again. No way. No way. This one must be a channel catfish, looks small. Yeah. Channel catfish. Need someone to buy a takeaway. <laughs> no one's got money for that. I wonder if I try casting more towards that gar mark if we'll end up getting a gar. Well, that rod's been going off quite a lot, isn't it? The same one. Again.
That's a bigger cat, that one. Not as big as the first one we had. This is the only rod that's actually gone off. few other people joining joining the room now. Wonder if I do real speed two twitching it better still. Stay down there. Yeah it does. I'm going to try put on the shad. We had a couple of bites on that, but I didn't hook it. Let's give the shad a go. I think I think if the catfish were going to take, they would they would take on that. fish was following. I ended up real speeding. Ended up cranking my reel up to maximum speed and yeah. Wait for it to move. There you go. The little nod. That's not a bad not a bad channel catfish that, that's a decent size. I don't know if real speed 2 is going to be too much but, oh, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'm not getting as many bites on the bait rods as I normally would, and that is because I put a bigger hook on there, so that way we avo avoid them smaller fish and just target the bigger ones. If I had a smaller hook on there, I'm pretty sure we'd have a lot more takers. That's why this side has gone off more than the other ones, because that is a 5 op and the other one's a 6. Because that's a 5, that's a smaller hook. dark come on I want to get something on this shed I'm gonna leave it as real speed too because I something did try and take it I just thought maybe real speed too could be a little bit fast in this lake but we'll have a few casts like that see what happens
seems a bit of lag there. Not nothing that time. Again, it's always that that rod. That's a channel, isn't it? Yeah. I think Cal was going live today, so uh, maybe, maybe we might be doing another stream. I'll have to ask him to find out. In fact, this one I'm going to quickly do. I'm going to quickly give him a ring. I'm just going to mute the mic for a sec, guys, because sometimes he does use bad language, and uh, we are family-friendly. So give me one moment. All right, yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stay live for about another half hour-ish, I guess. And then um, I'm going to eat something. And then me and Cal are going to go live together. Some of you guys probably might not want to watch that because it will, it will be Fortnite. But anyway, Fishing Planet, at least we're doing, putting out some streams again on this. On this Hunch Runner, looks like it's doing the trick, doesn't it? That's not bad. This looks like a bigger fish than what we've had so far. This could be unique on the Hunch Runner. Oh, it's not. Blue catfish. 
That was a heavy lump, though, that one. That was only 28 pounds, but yeah. That was a heavy lump. Alright, this one looks like a good size one here as well. Trying to speed reel as quick as I can so we get the next one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, the game, the game. There we go. It can't catch up. Servers are, I don't know, maybe the servers are a little busy today or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, you guys might not want to see it, but anyway, if you do, come drop by. We're going to do another stream. Uh, we're going to play some Fortnite in a little while. <coughs> As I said before, Fishing Planet is always going to be my main game, so don't worry. When those updates come, I will be here putting them out and letting you guys know about it. But, trying to grow. Trying to grow my audience, so that's why we're doing a bit of Fortnite. I find it good fun as well, actually. It's pretty good when you when there's a few of you. When there's a few of you playing, it can be uh, interesting. Non nonetheless, frustrating but interesting. Cool. We got a few people around us now. That normally happens in random rooms though when someone starts catching fish everyone everyone piles up black magic oh black magic okay fair enough <laughs> I should really wear my glasses in fact I'm probably gonna after for the next string because if I don't my eyes are gonna be straining on that YouTube grind you still here bear I have no idea if she is. Oh, there you go. That one's going off. On the shiners. Cool, that looks like a good sized fish, that one. 30 pounder. Not too bad. How was her tea? Was her cup of tea nice? I'm probably going to... I don't know. What am I going to eat for dinner? I have no idea. I'm probably going to do... Um, I might do those packets of pasta, actually. You know the ones that where you just uh, you boil them for a little bit? I might do some pasta. I haven't eaten pasta for a while. I really want to try some pasta at some point like fresh cooked pasta with some chopped sausage um, some kind of sauce some cheese a bit of potato in it like kind of I don't know a bit of veg in there or something I was just going to ask her to make me one <laughs> Your, oh, your tea went cold. Oh, that ain't very nice. You makes your tea and you make, you let it go cold. I wouldn't have wasted that bear. Cold or not, I would have drunk it. Well, I wouldn't have let it go cold. I would have just, yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't have had a chance to get cold. Caught. I'm going to really quickly need to take a toilet. I need to empty my can so bad. I don't know why I say that, can. What? I need to empty my can. What does that even mean? I always say that. Your strange bubbles. <laughs> yeah. So right, most of most of our family's strange, so it's all good. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be right back. I need to empty my can, whatever that is. <laughs>
Ooh. All right, I'm back. <sighs> Didn't really have time to drink. Did you end up having your bath, did you? <clears throat> cool, we're on that YouTube grind. Thanks for still being a member as well, Mrs. Bubbly. I've noticed that you are still a member to the channel. I appreciate it. Anybody else wants to become a member, you can click the link in the description below. <sighs> Oh, there's some chain pickerel in here. I would have messed around with those a little bit. I forgot about those. Never mind. As long as we're still catching fish, that's the main thing. Chain pickerel are a lot, lot smaller fish as well. My rods probably would, would you know, just fling past my ear. Okay, he's level 34, catching 23 pound fish, that's good. It's nice when you see lower levels catch good fish. Hopefully you get some big ones. Yeah, I'm going to have that cheese and broccoli pasta. That's what I'm going to have for my dinner. That and a couple of pieces of bread. Bread and butter. Oh. It's not bad. Spotted bass, eh? Do love catching the bass. <clears throat> do, 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 do. It's so cold today. It's so cold today. I can't sing. I don't. I don't. I don't attempt it. <laughs> I hear my little kid singing sometimes. She, my youngest kid, she stands in front of the TV and puts a hairbrush there, like she's singing into a microphone. It's awesome. <laughs> when she's not. Uh, Trying to wind up her mum, that is. <laughs> there you go, nice. You just had a 28 pound fish. Oh, oh, I was meant to put. I oh, weren't meant to keep that. Oh, well, there you go. Look at that. Underwater weeds. Sometimes you get these little side missions done. And you don't even know that you're doing it. <clears throat> cool, we've got quite a few people joining this room now. I think that guy there who just joined, I think, I think he's on my friends list. I could be wrong. She's, yeah, I can imagine what she's done to the front room. She's pulled everything out of the drawers, trashed it, chucked everything around. Yeah, I believe it. She starts playing with one thing and then goes to the next thing so fast, doesn't she? She wants to play with everything all at the same time. That's the, that's the thing. Yeah, I bet he, I bet this guy's having a good time. You can tell he's Rod. He's struggling to bring it in a little bit. That makes it good fun though when it's like that. There's four people in yours on PlayStation. You can only have up to five people in a room. On PC, you can have up to ten. There's nine people in my room at the minute. Yeah, on 
PlayStation only lets you have up to five in a room, which is a bit of a shame. They used to be, years ago, they used to do it where there was 20 people in a room. That was good. Gets a little bit hectic though, I think that's probably why they stopped it. 20 people fishing in the same room, it just, everyone fishes on top of everyone and there's, yeah, it gets a little bit crazy. I think that's why they decreased it. good enough reason to well there you go that one's a nice chunky one isn't it just under 50 pound that's not a bad one almost like a golden shine to it that looks nice been in a really bad mood and just wants to break everything yeah lamb said the other day that she's uh was being a bit of a nightmare <laughs> is that rod gonna go off or i'm gonna cast this one and then it probably or oh, i might have lost interest <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, she's a bit of a nightmare, that one at the minute, isn't she? On a four pound mono test, too impressive. Yeah, you see some people catch some big fish on, on light gear. It's nice. My uncle does that in real life for fishing. He does sea fishing and he uses eight pound line. That's <laughs> for the sea, that is incredibly very light line indeed. But yeah, when you're using that lighter gear, you play the fish more rather than try and just force it in. So I always used to be, when I used to play this, I always used to be the kind of guy that tried to reel the fish in as fast as possible and try and pick up every rod but it's a little bit impossible to do that now so I play the game the way it, it wants to be played which is just when you get one fish you get one fish all the other rods will probably go off within that time one of those did get snagged didn't they it's not that one that's the one well there you go he had a he just had a unique at sixty pounds. He's still reeling it in. Sometimes it shows up on my screen that he's caught it before he even shows up on his screen. There you go. Look at that. I'm so happy that he caught that. He's level thirty-four. That's good. Sixty pounds unique fish. That's awesome. For a low level like that, I'd be I'd be definitely happy with that. Sixty pound fish at level thirty-four. Look, he's even stopped for a minute. <laughs> nice. That's good. <clears throat> that one was whizzing around my ear because it was a little small one. So I'd rather I'd rather someone a low level like that catch a big unique fish than me I've already caught them I've already done it it's nice to see low levels do it sea fishing insane blue gill feels like a walleye it just makes fights so much more fun low test low dr yeah yeah, it's nice when you hear that screaming sound of your reel, isn't it? I do plan to this year to do some real life fishing and put that onto the channel. That is definitely going to happen this year. I'm going to be doing a bit of sea fishing. I don't know whether I'm going to do some videos or a live stream. It'll 
probably would be a live stream, I'm not sure, but I do plan to do some real life fishing at some point and put it onto the channel. That'd be a nice thing. I, you know, I've played this game for seven years and so many times people have said, do you fish in real life? And I said, I used to, but I don't have time to do it now because YouTube consumes all that time. But if I'm doing a live stream or making a video, again, that is still for YouTube, so I could fit it in. It's just a little bit cold where I am right now, so I'm waiting for the weather just to warm up a little bit, especially over the next couple of weeks, the UK is meant to be getting insanely cold, so, um, yeah, there won't be any real life fishing just yet, I don't think, but at some point, I definitely am going to put some on onto the channel, and I, as I said, I probably will do it as a live stream as well, live stream me fishing off some rocks or a beach somewhere, there'll be something like that at some point. <clears throat> this hunch runner ain't done too bad though till he just made you a sandwich <laughs> I told you she 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 look after you she's like your mama she's she's good <laughs> and cut up some banana and gave them to me oh Yeah, she, 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 I think she'd be good at a chef, you know, being, being a chef when she gets older, she likes cooking and making sandwiches and doing all different stuff, doesn't she? She's done it plenty of times when I've been cooking, she, she asked me how I, how I cook it and what I'm doing and stuff. She'll be a good little chef. Oh, there you go. That's what I was waiting for. See, because this rod is a 46 pound rod set up, when I get a good fish, it definitely does fight well. I think that could be a blue catfish again. Yeah, another blue catfish. They put up a good fight, they do. Quite, quite a good size. They're quite heavy catfish, blue catfish, aren't they? Look at that. They're dead weight. Literally, I, I catch one Nile perch, I'm going to rank up instantly. <clears throat> Someone caught a chain pickerel trophy. Well, there you go, the guy next to me, the the low level guy, he's 34, he just caught uh, another fi uh, flathead catfish. Nearly 47 pounds, that's, that's good. It's nice to see low levels catch good fish. There we go. There's a bass. I strike that one so hard it pulled it above the water. Three and a half pound nearly. Tap tell T say Daddy said well done. Looking after Mama. Just a nice off here, USA. Oh, you're from the States, nice. My real life options are still available during the winter when the lake was, oh there you go, look at that, that was a good strike. It was fully frozen, some guy caught a 45 inch northern. Yeah, in real life I haven't done fishing for about three years, three years plus probably, something like that. I don't know definitely been a good few years that I haven't each year I keep saying I'm gonna go fishing but as I said it's just kind of hard to find the time YouTube consumes up so much of it but if I'm gonna be making videos or doing a live stream on it at least I'm still doing something for YouTube so definitely am um, this year there's gonna be a, a live stream or video or even bit of both Brought a new rod. 
I'll tell you one little tip. When you're a low level, try not to spend too much money too fast. Because it gets expensive. I've got, in, in, my, in the playlist, I've got a playlist of Just Fishing Planet. You can look on there. Go back and look at, like, level one. It doesn't matter whether it's on mobile or whether it's me playing on PC or PlayStation. Wherever I'm catching fish, no matter what platform I'm playing on, you can catch fish in the same place. But look in the playlist of um, some of the rods that I brought. I think it was called a Creek Pro. That's the rod that I brought when I was a low level, the Creek Pro. That lasted me a long time, that rod. I went into many lakes with that. That rod worked well. Get on the water, mate. It will stick with you forever because some, something I'm. Yeah, it is addictive. Yeah, when I was y young, I think from the age of about nine, ten years old, I did fishing. I did so much fishing when I was younger with my dad and stuff as well, and with friends. I did so much fishing, and then um, yeah, it kind of stopped around about three year ago ish, something like that. I kind of stopped going fishing completely. But I did used to do a lot of it. I did enjoy it. It's quite, it's quite relaxing. I used to, personally myself, I used to do a lot of night fishing. I used to like doing that. It was real cold some nights, but then when you fish in the summer, you can sit there in your shorts and your t-shirt, and it's dead silent. And you're just sitting there watching the tip of the rod, listening to the sound of the ocean. It was, it was nice. Good times. All right, I think we're going to have to end because i got to get some food in me and then I'm going to come back for another stream. As I said, most of you are probably not going to be that interested because some of you only prefer Fishing Planet, which is cool. But if not, you could always drop by, come say hello in our stream in probably about half hour, an hour. I'm going to set up another, another stream. We're going to play some Fortnite with Cal, which that's my stepson. So if you guys want to drop by and sell out you're more than welcome but on that note we got another fish on this one fish has saved the day <clears throat> you'll be back later cool man all right nice one i'll look out for you in chat flathead catfish 28 pound yeah, there will be the update soon for the Paddy's Day as well for Fishing Planet. I can't give you a specific date yet because I don't actually know. But I know it's definitely going to be very soon. So uh, as soon as I know, there will be a video on on, on the update. As soon as, it, as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Fishing Planet back at it again. It's always good to see. It's good to get back and play some Fishing Planet. It's been a short minute. I've been so busy with the other ones. So, uh, yeah, it's good to get back on. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.